Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome to those joining us for the first time. My name is Alicia. Today we are celebrating the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. In the Gospel today, Jesus tells his disciples about forgiveness and how many times that we should forgive others. This is a reading from the Gospel of Matthew. One day, Peter asked Jesus, How many times do I have to forgive someone who hurts me? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, No, not only seven times, but seventy times seven. Then Jesus told the disciples this story. Once there was a king who had many people working for him. One of the workers owed him a lot of money, but couldn't pay it back. The king was angry and told the guards to sell the worker and his wife and children as slaves to pay what the man owed. But the man fell on his knees and begged the king, Please, be patient with me, and I will pay you everything I owe. The king felt sorry for the man and forgave him. He even said the man didn't have to pay back the money he owed. Now, when the same worker was leaving, he saw another man who owed him only a little bit of money. He grabbed him and said, Pay me what you owe me. The man fell on his knees and said, Please, be patient with you, me, and I will pay you everything I owe. But the man who had been forgiven said no, and he put the man into prison. Now, when the other workers saw what happened, they went to the king and told him the whole story. The king sent for the man he had forgiven and said to him, You wicked man, I forgave you and even forgot about what you owed me because you begged for mercy. And then you wouldn't do the same for someone else? So the king sent the man to prison to be punished. And that's the way it will be with you. If you want God to forgive you, you must forgive other people with all of your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Have you ever forgiven someone? Sometimes it's really hard to forgive others. Today, Jesus tells us, if we want God to forgive us, we must learn to forgive each other as well. When someone we love makes a mistake or does something wrong, the love that we have for them helps us to find forgiveness in our hearts. God's love for us is more than we can imagine. This deep love means that God is always ready to say sorry and forgive us, as long as we ask for forgiveness. Jesus told Peter that we should forgive someone not just 70 times, but 70 times 7. That's a lot, isn't it? Do you think Jesus wants us to count how many times we forgive somebody? No. Jesus used big numbers to explain to Peter so that he could understand that there should be no end to the number of times that we forgive someone, just like there's no end to the number of times that God will forgive us. If someone is truly sorry and tries to change, then we should forgive them. Forgiveness can be really hard to do. Sometimes, when someone hurts our feelings, it seems to be so much easier to stay mad at them than to let it go and forgive them. Forgiveness can help us to feel better and to heal faster from the hurt we may have received. When we don't forgive, the hurt and anger can stay with us and make us keep thinking about it and cause us to keep hurting for longer. When we forgive, we can feel so much better. Can you think of a time when you have been forgiven? How did it feel? It feels good when someone we love forgives us, doesn't it? The next time that somebody hurts your feelings and you're angry and upset and don't want to forgive them, think about how it made you feel when you were forgiven. Forgiveness is not only something that helps us, it is also a gift that we can give to other people. I hope you all have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye.